Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to calculate page number and offset from logical address. So logical address is given. We need to calculate the page number and offset from it. So that's what the kernel also also actually does, right? If you remember, CPU, right? It only sees the logical address, right? Logical address. Now it's the function of the kernel to divide its logical address into page number and offset right so this is the job of the kernel actually because cpu is only given the logical address now kernel has to divide this into these two now what kernel i mean normally in the operating system if you see the page size is always a multiple of 2 so there is reason for it actually because this makes the calculation i mean so division of logical address into page number and offset very easy we will see it how so basically page size is 2 power n bytes right it will be always a multiple of 2 and virtual address space it will be m bit we are just generalizing this with n bytes and the virtual address space is of m bit or the maximum size of the process right can be 2 power m bytes this we have discussed in a separate video uh, what can be the maximum size of a process i will paste the link of that in the description now uh, and many times you will hear this or see this written right 32 bit virtual logical address space right so what do we mean by this right when it is given that the virtual or logical address space is 32 bit what do we mean by that right so see basically logical address is also a number right so logical address you remember we used to divide this uh, process into logical addresses right from 0 to 1 2 3 is max right and these these logical address are also some number right so this logical address also requires some space right so these logical ad address are normally stored in some registers right so if you remember program counter is one of the i mean logical address actually right and that's stored in a register along with the cpu right now this logical address also requires some space right so how much space the logical address or virtual address requires for its, its storage right so here if you see the address is 0 1 2 3 right and till max right so how much i mean bits you will require right so that is 32 bit that's what it is given that for storing the logical address itself you require 32 bit right that means okay let's revisit a number i mean binary number basics then you will understand it i mean more clearly so using n bits right you can represent 2 power n different values including 0 right and conversely you need log base 2 n bits to represent n values from 0 to n minus 1 so these are the concepts from the binary number right take for example if you have 4 bits right then how many uh, values you can represent using 4 bits right you can represent 2 power 4 different values right take the converse of this if you have values from 0 to 2 power 4 minus 1 how many bits you require to store all these values right you require 4 bits right just the opposite of this one right you require 4 bits that is log base 2 2 power 4 bits that is 4 bits right so that's what is the logic here also right so basically 32 bit i mean maximum of 32 bit is required for storing all the range of logical address because it's max right this will require at least 32 bit so basically in, in this max will be 2 power 32 minus 1 right so this will be the max value here right and since the number are from 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1 i mean this is the range of the log logical address right for 32 bit uh, log logical address space right so you need 32 bits for storing these numbers from 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1 similar to this one for 4 bits and for 0 to 16 you require 4 bits for 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1 you require 32 bits right same concept now logical address space right it's given it i mean logical address space you require at least m bits to store all the logical address i mean range of all the logical address right that we have now this is divided into page number and offset and sum of the bits required for page and offset is m right now 
uh, if you understand this you will be able to determine the number of bits required for page number also right so basically you have to determine right so basically how much bits will page number require right so basically using this concept right second concept right you know that if the page so if the page number is ranging from 0 to some 2 power x minus 1 right if you know that the i mean the page number starts from 0 and the maximum page number can be 2 power x minus 1 from this you know that the number of bits required for page will be x bits right this you know because we have i mean already talked about this one right now if you can find the total number of pages that we have right then we can find out the total number of bits required to store it right that's what we have talked it here right now can we find total number of pages i mean in the in the system that we can easily find right so we know the total logical address space size right that is 2 power m right because i mean since we we have m m bit logical address space right the diff i mean maximum number of different values can be 2 power m right and this is also the logical ad address space size and we, if we divide this by the p size of the page right then we will get the total number of pages right so we know both these numbers 2 power m is the logical address space size and 2 power n is the page size right if you divide this we get 2 power m minus n pages right so we know that how many pages we have right we know that the pages are for starts from 0 and the pages go till 2 m minus n minus 1 right starts from 0 and it goes till 2 m minus 1 minus 1 right so fr from this we know what is the, what is the number of bits required to represent this page number right that's that is m minus n bits basically you take log of this base 2 then you will get this m minus n bits right using this one so we know that page number requires m minus n bits now the total total bits required is m right and this is already m minus n right so how many bits you require for offset you require n bits right so m, m minus n plus n will give you m bits right so basically n bits is required for the off offset right and the, you can calculate this also using the same logic that we calculated the page number right so what is the range of the page offset right from where to where it can go right so page offset actually if you remember it starts from zero right and it can go till i mean how much sorry this is for sorry so this was for uh, page number right that uh, we have already calculated right how many bits are required to represent 0 to 2 power m minus n page numbers right so this will be minus 1 actually right this we have already calculated it here right now for page offset now we have calculated the number of bits required for page offset right now we know that page offset can vary from start from 0 right it will start from 0 and it can go at maximum till 2 power n minus 1 right or this is the page size right this 2 power n is actually the page size so if you remember the page offset right it, it is within the page itself right so basically it will start from 0 and the maximum value it can take is 2 power n minus 1 so this is the page size minus 1 because we are starting from 0 right then how many bits are required to represent these values 0 to 2 power n minus 1 we know n bits are required that's why we got n here right i mean without this calculation also we know because we know that sum is m this is m minus n so this should be n right but we can also calculate this uh, from the range of values that page offset can take now think of it uh, how many bits are required for storing the frame number right we have done the problem i mean we have solved the problem for the page number now we need to solve the same problem for the frame number so we can apply the same logic right so what is the range of values that the frame number can take first we need to find out that right so how do we found, find out that so basically we need to determine the total number of pages in the physical memory right so how do we calculate that similar to the logical address space right logic you require the size of the physical address space here and we, we also require the size of frame and we know that frame size is equal to page size right so this al already we know and this 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 also we will be knowing right what is the size of the physical address space or ram 
Now calculate the maximum number of frames into which physical memory can be divided, right? So that is that calculate the total number of frames that we can have in the uh, physical memory, right? Similar to the calculation of number of pages, we can calculate that, right? We can have a physical address space size and if we divide this with the frame size we will get the total number of frames so number of frames we will get from this right and if the i mean maximum number of frames right it is 2 power x basically that means the frame numbers are starting from 0 and it is going till 2 power x minus 1 right then how many bits are required for storing the frame number x bits are required right so this calculation is similar to the, that of the page number logic right similar to that and the size of the page table depends on the number of bits required to store frame number right because if you remember in the page table if you remember in the this is the page uh, page number right index as the page number 0 1 2 3 and in this the values stored are the frame number right so that means the size of this page table depends on how many bits are required to store this frame number right now let's solve this problem and we will better understand the concept of determining page frame number and page offset from logical address physical address size and logical address size right so it's given size of the virtual address is 32 bit right so basically for storing the maximum i mean virtual address or logical address you require 32 bits of storage similarly size of physical address is 30 bits right so for storing the maximum physical address you require 30 bit of storage and page size is also given that is 4 kb and this will be equal to frame size right now we need to calculate the number of bits required to store page number page offset and frame number right so let's do one thing see this is size of the virtual address right so what is this this is actually m right m bit right and si and physical address we will uh, i mean we'll come to physical address later now page size is 4 kb right so this everything is in bit right and i'm first we should convert the page size to power of multiple of 2 right because we know that that formula right works when the page size is the power of 2 so first we should try to convert this as a power of 2 so this is actually 2 power 2 into 2 power 10 bytes right this will be equal to 2 power 12 bytes right so we have converted base size as a power of 2 2 power 12 bytes and what will be the maximum virtual address i mean what can be the maximum size of the process right so it is 32 bit virtual address space right so the maximum size i mean the so the maximum i mean addresses right that the virtual or the logical address can take is 2 power 32 bytes right this can be the maximum size of the virtual memory for the physical memory the maximum size can be similarly 2 power 30 bytes it's similar to that concept right 2 power um, if you remember the basics of binary right so this is similar to it right using 32 bit right 32 bit how many values you can represent you can represent 2 power 32 different values right that's why i have written 2 power 32 different bytes right can be represented right so that's what is the size of the virtual address and using 30 bit you can represent 2 power 30 different values right that means the physical address can take 2 power 30 different addresses right so that's what the size of this physical address 2 power 30 bytes now we know that uh, what is the n value here so basically m is 32 n is n is basically a page size right 2 power something right n so here 2 power 12 that is n is 12 right so basically you get page number as m minus n 20 offset i mean the bytes required for page number so the bits required to store page number bits required to store offset this is n n is 12 so required 12 bits to store 
page number 12 for page offset now how many uh, bits you require for uh, frame number so i will be talked about this right if you know the total physical address size right that is 2 power 30 if you divide this with the frame size right that is 2 power 12 you get the number of frames now this is equal to 2 power 18 now the and the range of frame can be from 0 to 2 power 18 minus 1 right this is the range that the frame uh, frame number can take right so basically for frame number how many bits you require you require sorry basically you take the log of this one right base 2 you will get 18 bits so you need 18 bits to represent the frame number 24 uh, page number and 12 for page offset right and i hope you would have understood the logic here right don't go on the formula right understand the logic how this is calculated right you have to understand the basics of the binary to understand how this calculation takes place right so if you have any doubts about this please do write it in comments and i will try to i mean try to i mean fix i mean try to figure it out i mean for you right so if i mean if the doubt is not cleared using the comment itself right i will make a separate video for making you understand that so that's all for this video thank you